Hello, I am Beverly. My mind is substantially destroyed because I've been studying too much Sufi George, so I don't often know what I am saying. But I hang around here anyway for one reason and one reason only and that's because I believe that Sufi George can restore my mind. Anyway, today Sufi George tells us about why experience patterns repeat in the DMC. This talk is from his book, Mind Blow, Understanding Consciousness. And now here's Sufi George. Hello and welcome to the Sufi George mission. Today I am speaking on why experience patterns repeat. Today I am speaking on why experience patterns repeat. Just joking. We see from the dynamic model of consciousness that our reality is made of patterns of experience. Every instant of our experience is the result of resonance with frequency wave fields. Most are coming from light sound and other waves of beta, which we experience as material reality, and the same patterns coming as ideas, thoughts and imaginings which is how we see them in alpha. Where are these patterns? How are they moving? And why do so many of them keep repeating in our experience? Once an experience pattern passes through our awareness, it becomes a permanent part of our personal universe. This happens because our space is curved. Here's the actual picture. Our personal universe consists of countless experience patterns that travel back and forth through our alpha and beta dimensions. Any particular pattern is traveling in a figure 8 loop, or infinity loop. The crosshair at the center point of this figure 8 loop is positioned at our awareness. Our personal universe, then, looks like two big bubbles of figure 8 loops. Patterns are different sizes but they all cross through awareness at the same point. Our attention ring passes through both of these bubbles, the beta and the alpha. That means we can pay attention to patterns as they appear in beta, our material world, and also as they appear in alpha, our anti-material world. When an experience pattern is approaching our awareness from beta, it is just that, a pattern. Attention focuses the pattern's intensity then passes it on to intuition. Intuition focuses the pattern very sharply and delivers it to awareness in a concentrated, vivid form. The pattern is experienced in awareness as meaningful reality. Then the pattern flows out through the other side of intuition, and because of the lens effect of intuition, the pattern is defocused back into its original, expanded form. Likewise, the effect of attention is reversed on the way out, now, it is in alpha, and is just a pattern again. When we look at it in alpha, as a memory, it is no longer as real, and certainly is not material. The pattern travels the alpha loop until it comes back around to the center point and then re-enters the beta loop. We don't notice this because our attention is looking at patterns coming from beta, not at patterns going into beta. The pattern then travels the beta loop again until it returns to the center point of awareness, and we experience it again. The DMC describes alpha and beta as universes because they conform to the descriptions of the anti-material and material universes from physics. Considering one point in particular, the gravity of awareness concentrated at the center of the DMC is responsible for curving space in our personal universes, which keeps our experience patterns from flying off into space never to be seen again. It is this gravity that forces the pattern to travel in loops and prevents us from ever losing any of our experience patterns. And this is why our experience patterns keep repeating. The pattern can be shown with a figure 8 Mobius strip. That's our symbol for the infinite. When you draw a line on the Mobius strip, it takes a line from one side of the strip to the other side, and then back again. With the figure 8, the Mobius takes a line out of one circle and into the other, and then back again. If you start the line on the inside of one circle, you will also be on the inside of the other circle. These two things, seeing one side as the other side, and seeing the inside of one circle as the inside of the other circle as well, apply directly to seeing the features described by science as time reversal between the matter and the matter universes. Experience patterns are made of frequency wave fields that flow through this Mobius strip pattern. The wave patterns are flowing through both circles in a figure 8 pattern. 
When we experience the wave patterns in the beta circle, we experience them at beta brain wave frequencies. When we experience them in the alpha circle, we experience them at alpha frequencies. An experience pattern flowing in this figure 8 pattern may be seen as coming to us from the future, passing through our window of now, and moving into the past as a memory. But the figure 8 brings it around again into our future, and we replay the pattern as it passes by our window of now. We are not moving through time. Time is moving through us. We are not passing through experience. Experience patterns are flowing through us. We know what their morphic fields look like. It's the Mobius strip pattern. What goes around, comes around. That's the pattern of the Mobius strip. Our experience depends on it, is created by it. And our experiences repeat because of this travel pattern. Not to repeat myself, my Sufi George books are on Amazon.com.